<laughs> the Australian citizenship test assesses whether foreigners are ready to become an Australian. In this social experiment, Nazim gauges whether homegrown Aussies are as deserving of this same privilege. Do the locals know enough about their own country to be allowed to continue to live here? These are his findings. Hi, mate. Just doing a spot immigration test, thank you. Just said a couple of minutes of your time. As you know, we've got some new regulations that are coming into effect this week. Yeah. Um, I need to ask you some questions. Oh, and right. if you don't answer those questions correctly, then there is the risk that you have your citizenship revoked. Even though we live here in Australia and we're yeah, born here and everything. That's right. Madness. Yeah, I mean, that's just the way it is at the yeah, moment. Yeah, fine. The Australian Institute of Sport recently voted to change our national sport to what? Football. Synchronised swimming. Really? Um, yeah. <laughs> what does ANZAC stand for? Australian New Zealand Army Corps. That's actually a myth. Australian New Zealand ANZAC cookies. That's why we eat ANZAC cookies on ANZAC Day. Okay, there you go. Are you serious? Australians are known for their good sense of humour. Are you able to tell me a short joke? What would you call a man laying at your front door? What would you call him? Matt. What would you call him, Matt? Well, doormat. Matthew. No, Matt, as in doormat. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to... Yeah, James, I'm going to have to take a mark off for that one for you, if that's OK. What is your favourite type of beer? Um, Borex. Incorrect, it's actually VB. She's not my favourite. Here's a scenario. Who would win in a fight between Russell Crowe and Hugh Jackman? Well, if neither of them are fighters, I can't imagine. There is a definite answer for this one. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. God, I don't think that makes me an Australian to know that. Yeah, oh, look, these are the questions that I've... I know. Got to... I wonder what university study graduate got to make this. How do you spell Aussie? A-U-S-S-I-E. That's right. How do you spell Koshy? Koshy? As in, Koshy is a douchebag. I didn't realise after 53 years of living in a country <laughs> had to make fucking felon test to get back inside. Jim, <laughs> calm down. Oh. Who, are you, who are you representing? The Department of Nationality and Citizenship. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, yeah. go on. Do you know one of the Australian national dancers? No clue. No clue? Did you know that the Macarena was an Australian dance? No. Do you remember some of the moves? <laughs> so, yes. boom, do that, do that, do that. Someone's paying you to actually ask those ridiculous questions. I have the questions here. I've got a whole bunch of questions. <laughs> Finally, excuse me, mate. We've, we've just got one more thing to... Sorry, we've just got to do one last thing. We just sing the national anthem together and then we're done. Australians all let us rejoice, for we are free and young. Come on. You don't know it. Do you not know the Australian anthem? Yes, I do, but you don't. That's a joke. Yeah. Absolutely a joke. Deport me if you want. Yeah. Because that. Well, if you fail a written examination. Yeah. An Australian. Well, then maybe you shouldn't be in Australia. Well, maybe I should leave Australia.